the Nintendo Chit Chat Podcast starts shortly. Support this podcast by blasting that like button, sharing the stream, and subscribing right now. version of the Nintendo Chit Chat Podcast on iTunes, Google Music, SoundCloud, or Player FM. Get ready! The Nintendo Chit Chat Podcast with your host, Eddie Ray and Samantha Leinhard, starts right now. Get high. 
subscribe so you don't miss the fun. You're sitting on the edge of your seat. So anxious, you're clenching your teeth. When he's shooting with his fantasy team. In Paladins, the champions. Rated E for Eddie Ray. Watch him play. Stream away. Rated E for everyone. Subscribe so you don't miss the fun. Wow, welcome guys to the Nintendo Chit Chat Podcast. Eddie Ray with you here in the podcast studio. Welcome aboard. We have both Facebook Gaming and YouTube Gaming alive right now for the podcast. Episode 37, Marble It Up. This is uh, kind of going back to the roots of Marble Madness, guys. Marble It Up's out tomorrow in the Switch eShop. It goes for 19 bucks and 99 cents. This is like a physics-based kind of puzzle game with a ton of stages where you have to kind of um, make this marble go through different stages and courses and obstacles. Uh, there's power-ups in the, in the game as well. Um, all kinds of cool physics. Again, it's called uh, Marble It Up. There's also HD Rumble involved with Joy-Cons too, so that's pretty cool. Or Pro Controller. Uh, so check it out, guys. Tomorrow it releases Marble It Up LLC. Marble Up is the game out tomorrow, the 29th of September. Today's the 28th. Welcome to the podcast, episode 37. Eddie Ray with you here. Uh, we have a lot of news to talk to you guys about, plus your questions. The time portal. We'll do our community recap with Amber as well. We got Samantha on the line too. But uh, before we do any of that, guys, we have our contest, our little giveaway to do for Polygod. We had 17 uh, retweets for this, so that's really good, guys. If you're on Twitter and retweeted uh, this contest or this giveaway, thanks for doing so. We're going to pick that person right now. So we are on a tweet draw. We have the URL ID entered of the giveaway. I'm going to go and click on pick random retweet here. And let's see who wins. Good luck to all of those who entered. And Rowan Henlasi has won. So Rowan Henlasi, congratulations. I'm going to click here. There we go. And I will actually tweet him after the podcast, too. So congratulations to Rowan and Lassie for winning Polygod, a first-person shooter. Pretty cool game. Very tough, though, too. I tried it a while ago, and uh, it's very, very difficult. I died a lot in the game. So, All right, guys. We'll take a quick break with you. Make sure you guys like and share. We'll come back with Samantha and the News Bites right after the break, so stay tuned. You're listening to the Nintendo Chit Chat Podcast with your hosts, Eddie Ray and Samantha Leinhard. We'll be right back after the short break. Grab the audio version of the Nintendo Chit Chat Podcast on iTunes, Google Music, SoundCloud, or Player FM. You're listening to the Nintendo Chit Chat Podcast with your hosts, Eddie Ray and Samantha Leinhard. All right, guys. Welcome back. We could get uh, Dank in YouTube chat. Good to see you, Dank. We've got Sagan. We've got Amber. Good to see you, our community manager. We've got uh, JKW, Rated E Club member out there as well. Welcome, guys. Make sure you like and share if you can. Hello to Facebookers. we got Cole and Wayne. Good to see you guys out there as well. Eddie Ray with you here for episode 37. we be bringing on Samantha here for the news bites and the time portal and the questions as well. For September 23rd through the 29th, uh, welcome back to the podcast, Samantha. Thank you. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. Kind of a quiet week, would you say? Yes, especially in comparison to the weeks that we've had yeah, recently. Yeah, TGS was going so. on and everything for that. Right. So we're going to kick things off then with the news bites again for the 23rd to the 29th. If you guys want to follow along, you can go to NintendoChitChat.com, click on the news bites article and follow along with us directly. But here we go. For Nintendo Switch news, 
Uh, we have a couple things here, kind of big things. I think more big things regarding 3DS stuff, in a sense, <laughs> <laughs> if you're a Yokai fan. But we'll get back to that later on. Uh, we got Dragon Quest here, XI. What's the S stand for? The Switch? Well, uh, that's basically the announcement. Because we knew that Dragon Quest XI was going to be coming to the Switch, but they had barely said anything about it. Well, they still have barely said anything about it but they did reveal the name as dragon quest 11 s and the s stands for switch okay. but it also stands for special and i think it i, I think special was one of them mm -hmm. and then it stands for a couple of japanese words that basically refer to voice acting because oh, okay. in the original version uh the japanese version didn't have voice acting they added that for the western release of the other ones nice. so it appears that the switch version will have some sort of voice acting option but they haven't shown anything else yet, so we're back to waiting for news. But at least it's just has a the name announcement, now. yeah, the official announcement. So no idea of when it's going to be releasing either. Apparently, right? No window at all. No dates. No years. No, nothing. <laughs> no Which years. Which is kind of funny since, since this was one of the earliest Switch titles. Yeah, it was. Yeah. Because they were still calling it the NX mm -hmm. when uh, Square Enix said, "Oh, Dragon Quest XI is coming to the NX." Yeah, it's true. Very true. So yeah, I recall back to the a couple of years ago. It seems like I probably maybe I guess two and a half years ago. I don't know. Maybe two years ago, and uh, yeah, yeah. So here we are now, and we have the official announcement for Dragon Quest XI S. So very cool. All right. As we learn more, we'll pass it along to all of you in chat. All right. So Nico Navy is coming to the Switch as Nico Navy Daydream Edition, um, and this is a pretty interesting game. This is actually a cat-themed shooter. Is that right? Yeah. So this is a shoot 'em up <laughs> game where you're playing as flying cats. Uh, fighting enemies like sausages. <laughs> so, yeah, <this> Sausage <laughs> party. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so this uh, special edition that's coming to the Switch has a new hard mode. It has, looks like it has uh, some sort of survival mode as well. So that will be coming uh, winter, oh, winter 2018. So it should be sometime this year, hopefully. All right. Yeah. Looking forward to actually kind of games like this, kind of a cool little off the wall type game. So maybe I'll check it out. All right. <laughs> Back in 1995 is our next title to talk about. It's already out for the 3DS and PC. So I had no clue about this one. Uh, it's not coming to the Switch, <laughs> PS4, Xbox, Xbox One, and Vita as well. Vita again, two weeks in a row. So uh, talk about this one for us, Samantha. Yes. Yeah, so this is a uh, survival horror game that is intentionally trying to capture the aesthetic and the style and the tone of uh, classic PlayStation survival horror game. So it has a very retro look, very, looks very much like a PlayStation 1 game. And uh, so this is just trying to completely recreate that feeling. So I don't cool. believe there have been any uh, big changes uh, from the previous versions, but now it's coming okay. to just about every other system. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Almost every system. <laughs> I must apologize. I actually skipped the game here earlier, too. Uh, we have Little Friends, Dog, and Cats also announced for December 6th for Japan. So I actually oh, bypassed yeah. that earlier on. So, And this is like just a kind of a pet game where you take care of pets and play with them. Is that right? Yeah, it's like a pet simulation game. Uh, you're supposed to, you know, you pet them. It reminds me sort of like the Nintendo sorts yeah. of things. Where you take your pet on a walk and play games with them and... Uh, it's basically, you know, they want to make it like like you have your little pet in your game. I think this also make use of the HD rumbles, what I think I read. So kind of cool, I guess, when you're petting or whatever or playing with the uh, the animals. That's pretty cool. <laughs> so there we go. Moving along, then we got um, Art of Balance, which I'm sure you guys have heard, heard of before because it dates back to, I guess, the Wii era. Is that right? Yes, I believe, yes. Well, it looks like it's on the 3DS. I think it was a WiiWare. Oh, it was okay. I think it was a WiiWare game, also 3DS, yeah. Okay, yeah, it looks like it started with WiiWare, then it was ported to the Wii U's eShop, and then there was also a version for 3DS called Art of Balance Touch. And this is all physics, correct? correct uh, basic physics type game? Right, yeah. Okay. It's like a, a puzzle, physics-based puzzle game, yeah. So now it's awesome. coming to the Switch as well. Same uh, de de developers who brought you uh, Fast Racing. Uh, both the, the Wii, Wii U, and the Switch as well. Cool. All right, so Vertical Drop Heroes HD will be ported to the Switch on October 4th. And this is an interesting type of gameplay. Explain to us what kind of gameplay this is, Samantha. Yeah, so this is a uh, uh, procedurally generated uh, platformer RPG with roguelike elements. So we got a lot of different uh, <laughs> mishmash of everything coming in here. <laughs> Wow. Yeah, so you've got uh, randomly generated stages, and then you've got the uh, roguelike elements, and uh, so yeah, lots of different things going to this one. This is another port that was from the 
for the PC originally, I believe. Okay. And so now that's coming to the Switch and coming soon. So that'll be October 4th. Yeah, so there's less about less than a week away, actually. So there you go. All right, moving along, we got Jack Quest, Tale of the Sword. Uh, this is a fantasy, is it a platformer, I think, well, I believe? Yes, uh, action platformer. Okay, this is announced for all major platforms. So explain a little bit more details regarding this game, Samantha. Yeah, so this is, uh, yeah, so basically an action platformer where you'll be exploring uh, this area. There'll be puzzles to solve. You'll be adding new abilities. I'm not sure if they've said if it's like, I think, it looks like they said uh, interconnected world. So I think it has the sort of Metroidvania style going. Okay, yeah, interconnected. Lots of secrets, gems you can collect, hidden challenges. Sounds pretty fun. So that's Jack Quest, Tale of the Sword. Do check that out, guys. Uh, all major platforms announced for it, so including the Switch, right? Moving along, we got Kimono Friends Picross. Uh, will be localized on October 4th. So another October 4th date here as well. We've had quite a number of these games. so And this uh, looks pretty good. And this is just, I guess it's gonna be localized for the North America, so that's pretty good actually. Mm-hmm. Awesome. All right, we'll move along into release dates then. Uh, we've got a bunch of these here, going all the way uh, from September to early 2019, so we'll take care of these for you guys. And Samantha, what's the first one on the list here for us? Yeah, so the first one we're talking about is Elemental, Elemental Nights Online R, which is coming to the Switch, uh, only in Japan, I believe, so far. So that's coming out on September 27th, and that is an MMORPG. Yeah. So I, I don't believe there's probably not going to be localized. I don't think there's a lot of obscure uh, MMOs that come. Right. Although, yeah, who knows? I think we mentioned <laughs> this before in the podcast. Obscure, I think. Too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think we actually mentioned this game before in the podcast, maybe a few weeks back or whatever. And uh, I Possibly, think this is the game that had like a really crazy like UI, like lots of things on the screen going on. And mm -hmm. I'm like, how are they going to do this for the Switch? Because using a controller or whatever, <laughs> just looks cluster, like a big cluster full of buttons on the screen and things mm -hmm. on the going on. I'm not quite sure, but... So yeah, well, MMOs do tend to have a lot of... That's true, yeah, design. for sure. <laughs> so that's Elemental Knights Online R for Japan, uh, only as of right now. All right, so October 9th brings us Mark of the Ninja Remastered. Also with a new trailer available. Um, any little details regarding the trailer or the game? Uh, no, nothing in particular. I believe we talked about this a few weeks ago when it was announced for the Switch. Mm -hmm. Yep, we did. All right, we can move on to October 11th, and we got a couple of these for you. Uh, Joggernauts, a new trailer available for this one. Uh, what is Joggernauts? <laughs> yeah, so Joggernauts play on words is, here. <laughs> yeah, so this is like an, uh, a, a runner, but it's also a puzzle game, and I, you have uh, one to four players at a time. So I believe you're trying to work together to get through these uh, puzzle elements as you run along. Great. Yeah, I think we actually mentioned this before as well when it was first announced or something. Um, so I think this is actually where you have uh, it's local multiplayer as well, where you have to switch mm -hmm. players in front and match the colors up to the enemies, I right, believe, right. in the game. So looks pretty cool. Pretty fast-paced uh, gameplay. That's Joggernauts. All right, so October 11th, we got some DLC uh, for Darkest Dungeon. If Golden was here, he would love this. He loves this game. Uh, <laughs> this is the Color of Madness DLC. goes for what pricing, uh, Samantha? What do we have here for the price? Yeah, so this will be four ninety nine, and now there's it's kind of like it was a complicated announcement that caused some confusion. So uh -oh. trying to clear things up. You, yeah. Not again. Okay, if you own <laughs> if you own Darkest Dungeon digitally, then you will be able to buy it for four ninety nine. If you own the Darkest Dungeon Ancestral Edition physically, then you will be able to get this for free. Mm, okay. Now. After it releases on October 11th, the digital Ancestral Edition is going to include it, which it didn't before, but that, that got people stirred up and angry, but the price is also going up. So the price is going up to match uh, demonstrate the fact that yes, but it now has okay. more content. So either it's a way, weird way it of comes doing out things. pretty much the same thing. Yeah, <laughs> when, you, when you confuse customers, it's not a good thing. <laughs> well, yeah, because a lot of people were saying, well, I, I bought it before and now mm -hmm. I have to buy it again. <laughs> but I don't know, they're changing the price to match, right. which apparently is what they did with the PC version too, that they had okay. the complete edition. And then every time they released like or added more content to it, then they adjusted the price. <laughs> so gotcha. It seems to be the, the way that they decided to handle it. Yeah, I mean, the model kind of makes sense though too. So mm -hmm. uh, just a little bit of... Um frustrations from gamers early on not understanding what's going on with the, confusion, the pricing yeah, yeah so. so it's not where you're used to so it sounds confusing right very good all right samantha cool so october 18th brings us sinner uh, sacrifice for redemption with a new trailer available what kind of gameplay is this 
Yeah, so this, I believe we talked about it back when it was first announced. This is the one that is sort of uh, inspired by Dark Souls and those types of okay. games. This is the one where you're fighting bosses, and every time you defeat a boss, you get weaker, so that it gets progressively harder as you go yeah. on. Very cool. That sounds really neat to me, actually. So Sinner Sacrifice for Redemption. Again, that's October 18th. The new trailer available. Go to NintendoChitChat.com and check it out for yourselves. And welcome, Anita. Good to see you. Hello, Fernando. Welcome, guys. We also have a new um, emoji, guys, if you are a Radio E Club member sponsor, so do check it out. We have Amber as an emoji in the uh, Radio E Club member sponsorship, so check it out, guys. All right, so tie it together with a new trailer available for October 19th. And tie it together is a platform or a puzzle game? Which one? Or both? Yes, the uh, co op platformer where you're little, literally tied together. I believe we talked about this one when it was first announced. Very cool. So you've got to work together because your characters are attached. All right. It's like Siamese twins here. <laughs> All right. So going, going to uh, November 29th now, we have uh, this one. Uh, your turn, Samantha. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we talked about the, we these this, when they uh, were uh, announced, and I don't remember how I said it then, so hopefully I'll be saying it at least <laughs> We'll just cut and paste the audio for you. How about that? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the Cho Tusochu and Cho Sentochu double pack. This is the one that has the uh, crazy intense live action oh, trailer, yeah. and then you cut to these cute little <laughs> graphics. So, yeah, there's a new trailer uh, with the same uh, interesting effects. So, it's very entertaining to watch. Like a simple game, but very interesting over the top artwork and graphics and things, and like in this trailer <laughs> or whatever. So, pretty cool. All right, so we have a, a deluxe pack to announce for uh, December 4th. December 4th is the Atelier Arlen pack. And this is, is it three games, I believe? Yes, and so this, actually, this might have belonged in the new section. I can't remember before if it was announced that these were actually being localized or not. But yes, but this is the uh, trilogy that includes uh, uh, the, the Arlen trilogy. So Atelier Verona, Atelier Totori, and Atelier Meruru. So this, these ones, I think they're already out in Japan, but now they're coming uh, west as well on December 4th. They'll be available as the bundle together, but also individually. Great. And they, will there be physical copies of this then? I'm assuming. No, digital not. only. Digital only. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, <laughs> that's okay. All right. Moving along, we got uh, uh, Fitness Boxing for Japan. Uh, I think we mentioned this before as well for December 20th. That's Fitness Boxing. No graphics for that one, guys. You couldn't find anything at all with the type Fitness Boxing into Google. You get all kinds of other stuff for fitness and boxing. So, not games. Oh, <laughs> uh, we were trying to find that button game or whatever. Yeah! <laughs> I find that was buttons. <laughs> My gosh. Sometimes the search for graphics is the tough one, guys. It's been a half an hour for one image sometimes. Okay, so moving along to December 20th as well is Root Letter, Last Answer for Japan with a trailer available. Now explain to us, this is pretty unique. What is going on here? Yeah, so this is yeah, this is definitely unusual. So basically, yeah. Root Letter was a visual novel that came out, kind of got mixed reviews. It has fans. It also has some people who really hate it. And so they announced that they were going to be remaking it as Root Letter Last Answer. So people were wondering, well, what are they going to do? How are they going to change it? Are they going to address concerns with the story? And it appears that they are uh, adding some new story content and fixing up some of those issues. But the big change that they're making is that they decided to make it live action. So instead of being a normal visual novel, it is now going to be a live action visual novel with actual actors and actresses. <laughs> so that's definitely an interesting idea. Crazy way to take it. Yeah, that's kind of interesting and cool. So I saw this, I saw the trailer, I'm like, okay, what's going on here? So uh, check out the trailer, guys. Again, this is Root Letter, Last Answer. All right, moving along to February 19th of 2019, we have Steins Gate Elite. And what's the latest here for this, uh, Samantha? Yeah, so this will be coming west on February 19th, and they are including the bonus. I think some people were concerned that, it, that they might not. I can't remember if they had mentioned it previously or not, but so this is the 8-bit uh, Steinsgate story that is being included with the Switch version. Nice. And they also announced a limited edition for $89.99. That, uh, let me see if I can find what it includes here. Okay, so it looks like the limited edition is coming with a... Uh, cloth poster, uh, a storyboard collection book, and I'm not sure if there's anything else. I think that might be it. 
All right, so that is cool. I like the 8-bit um, style. It's kind of nice to have added to this. So <laughs> looking forward to that, actually. All well, right. The thing that disappoints me is that the two, the, the Switch and the PS4, the two versions each have a different like little bonus game. So mm. you can't get you both can't get, bonus games yeah. in a single purchase. <laughs> it is a little bit frustrating for sure. Yeah, that's, <laughs> you got to double dip, I guess, if you want that little thing, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so early 2019 brings us Nelky and the Legendary Alchemist. And again, we've been talking about this for a while, I think, on the podcast. So uh, you have the date there, early 2019. So somewhere in the first quarter of 2019 for this game. At Liaise of the New World. All right. Moving along into trailers in details then. We got some more announcements here for this. We got uh, World of Final Fantasy Maxima will include a new game plus and other features that are new too. So what new features are going to be in this game, Samantha? Yes, well, it's still a little uh, vague. It's like people translating information that was given at presentations and things like that about. So the, the big thing is, of course, there's going to be the new game plus. Also, of course, what they were showing in the trailer, that there's uh, new characters and you can change the avatars to play as certain characters instead. Uh, and then also, they said something about uh, having stronger endings, but people aren't sure if that means that there's going to be actual new story content added mm -hmm. or if they're just but it already had multiple endings so right people aren't sure if they were just talking about it like for people who didn't play the original or if they're saying there's actually something new in the maxima version uh but yes yeah, so so wait for clarification i guess yeah okay sounds good then all right telltale games is reportedly looking for a way to finish uh the walking dead the final season so that's kind of good news, but we don't know for sure exactly how they're going to be doing this or they're actually going to be able to successfully do this. So, I guess, Right, because um, last, last week when we talked about it, we thought that the uh, skeleton crew of 25 people left on was going to be finishing up the game. Mm -hmm. Then we found out, no, when the second episode comes out, that's going to be it's a seesaw it. right now. <laughs> <laughs> I think they, they were using the 25 to finish up Minecraft or something, but then mm -hmm. they came out and said that they're like, I think people offered to partner with them, so they're looking for ways to see what they can do. So, yeah, we'll see what happens. <laughs> I think it will happen. There's a lot of, uh, there's a big fan base for this series as well, so... I think it will happen. All right, so more Pokemon. Let's go. Pikachu, let's go. Eevee news. There's a new trailer that introduces a new mythical Pokemon, uh, Melton. And any other details regarding the new Pokemon or the new trailer? All right, so the trailer is basically just the uh, professor from Pokemon Go talking to, I believe, Professor Oak, talking about the discovery of the Pokemon Melton. So uh, Melton, I'm not sure if you're going to have to catch it in Pokemon Go, to connect it or, and then connect it to bring it to your game but it does hmm. say that uh like pokemon go is key to meeting this new pokemon so this is a uh, like mythical that. pokemon and, yeah so it seems like this is going to be a thing that makes use of the connection between pokemon go and the let's go games that's kind of a cool feature actually to make catch in pokemon go yeah i kind of like that actually all right so we got a new story trailer out for starlink battle for atlas um anything in this story trailer that kind of piques your interest at all or not just that about. it seems like it could be an interesting you know, science fiction story on its own. And then, of course, for the Switch version, there's also the Star Fox stuff, which wasn't shown in this uh, trailer. Okay. But uh, it seems like this is shaping up to be sort of a pretty interesting sci-fi yeah. game. They, they also uh, repeated, I believe they had said it previously, but then they repeated it that you will not need to actually buy the physical toys for the game. Like when they first announced it, that was all they talked about. But there right. will be digital DLC options for okay. the added content and things like that that's good that's good to know yeah i bought the whole package the whole toy the whole collection or whatever so <laughs> that's me <laughs> but looking forward to this starlink battle for atlas hello people on facebook at amber i think Ania's on facebook as well running the shop over there so welcome guys welcome in youtube chat as well hello ice climber kirby welcome welcome to the podcast episode 37 all right, so another game talked about for a while now is Kamen Rider Climax Scramble. The first full trailer is out now for this game, so do check that out. Uh, anything in particular for this one, Samantha, at all? Or we can we probably can move on? I, I don't think there are any uh, particular details, no. I saw okay. someone ask what type of uh, Melton is. I'm trying to see. Did they say what type Melton is yet? I don't I think don't so. Something about it, it, it generates electricity, so I think maybe it's electric but i don't know okay i don't know any details regarding that so yeah possibly all right so square enix then released some more gameplay details about dragon quest builders 2 and any details for this samantha regarding dragon quest builders 2 
Oh, yes, let me, yeah. Uh... Find that too. <laughs> I got distracted no here looking up. Uh, looking at Pokemon. <laughs> it's okay. Looking at Meltas. Steel type mythical Pokemon. Okay, so okay, it's, so it's looks steel? like it's a steel type. Okay. Very cool. <laughs> oh, yeah, so let me see here. Now we were talking about Dragon Quest Builders too. Of course, last time was when they were talking about the uh, farming. Oh, right, yeah. How that was going to be expanded. So now this time they were talking more about the building elements. And so. Uh, it looks like uh, it's talking about furniture that changes shape when you like attach different pieces of furniture together. You can also okay. change their colors. Uh, they've got some sort of glass windows. You can create water tanks for some reason. So it sounds like they've taken the building and uh, made it more detailed. Yeah, a lot more options your involved. Customization. Pretty nice. Pretty cool. So no word on this being localized, but I'm sure it will be since we got the first one over here. Hopefully. But it might be a while, unfortunately. <laughs> Looking forward to this game, though, for sure. All right, so updates and DLC, guys, in the news bites. Here we go. First topic is Shovel Knight being added to Brawlhalla. And here we go with a little bit of a graphic for him, too. So this is the fighting game, Shovel Knight being added into this game. So there's a little graphic for you to show him off. Introducing Shovel Knight. Thanks for the likes and hearts, guys, on that. I appreciate that. Also, regarding another fighting game here, SNK Heroines Tag Team Frenzy is getting another character here. Uh... Skullomania from Fighting EX Layer. It's kind of a crossover here. Will be available as DLC. Again, for SNK Heroines Tag Team Frenzy, October 11th, so about two weeks away. Pretty cool looking character. Again, this is all female character cast, so. Yeah, I believe this is another uh, gender bent one. <laughs> yes, I think so. You're right. All right, moving along then. New Haunted Dungeons Hayeki Castle update adds post game dungeon called Revenge of the Doman. Anything regarding this one, Samantha, at all? Anything, um, more details for this one at all? Oh, let's see. Just that they said that this will be, it looks like this will be a pretty challenging, uh, dungeon. So it'll be available once you complete the main story. So then you'll go into here and fight, uh, more difficult bosses. And, uh, it looks like lots of, uh, challenges in this mode. And it also mentions that, uh, this, this update is also, uh, going to make some fixes. Okay. Is, uh, they made some adjustments and corrected some uh, spelling errors, it looks, and fixed some bugs and things like that. So some general updates and then this post-game dungeon. All right. Moving along to the biggest news of the day, probably, of the week. Because <laughs> it's kind of a slow news week, actually, guys, um, compared to the last few weeks. Um, maybe one, like, one of the top slowest weeks this year so far. <laughs> yeah, probably. Probably. Yeah. Maybe the first or second. Yeah. All right. So we have Yokei Watch 3. It's been announced for the West. Is that right, Samantha? Are we hearing that right? For the West, really? Yes, we are. Yes, yo Watch And 3D. for the Switch. No, 3DS. 3DS. Yeah, of course. <laughs> so that's cool. This will probably be the last 3DS game or no for yo Watch? Uh, yeah, Is there I don't more to know. be localized after this or no? I'm not sure. Is uh, Persona Q2, that's being localized eventually, isn't it? Oh, uh, yeah, you're right. Yeah. And I'm not sure if that has a date, so it's possible that that's going to be the last one. Right. So this will be released uh, February 8th in North America and winter in Europe. So that could mean any time between <laughs> the same kind of time frames, basically, I guess, right? Because Europe hasn't yeah. got a winter we do, so. Right. All right. So. so they haven't said uh, too much about it yet. People are wondering since, you know, I believe it looks like a new logo and they just said uh, Yokai Watch 3. People mm -hmm. are wondering if instead of bringing over the different versions, because like two, there's three different versions in Japan. They're mm -hmm. wondering if maybe they're just going to bring one one version with like i don't know if they're going to combine content or what but they're maybe only bring the third version but people are wondering if they're not actually going to do the three releases yeah it is very curious now that you mentioned that so yeah, i didn't even think about that hmm if they have a different local here maybe they're going to be combining everything into one who knows hmm. yeah it should be interesting to see yeah we'll find out soon i'm sure all right so new trailer is also available for moon rabbit crew the update for yokai watch blasters and what is this update exactly yeah, so we talked about this uh, last time, I believe, or recently at least, when they announced it. I think so, it. yeah. So let me see. Yeah, so this is basically the expansion. I think we talked about last time that, uh, so the other ones had gotten, you know, your two versions, then your third version, you following that Pokemon-like style. But with the Blasters games, instead of releasing a third uh, game, instead they just released this uh, expansion that added more content. Now, let me see. It's it's hard to actually find like a list of what it actually includes. I think, I think it includes more story content and more bosses and 
okay. like that. But yeah, it's, it's hard to actually find a list. Sometimes it is, yeah. <laughs> no worries, no worries. So there you go, guys. And that's also a new trailer available for this, so check it out on NintendoChitChat.com for Moon Rabbit Crew, the update to Yokai Watch Blasters. Let's take a break with Samantha here, guys. Be bringing on Amber in a little bit after the break for our community recap of the streams and what's happening on Facebook and Discord and the community in general, guys. So stay tuned. Make sure you guys like and share and subscribe. We'll be right back after the break with Amber. You're listening to the Nintendo Chit Chat Podcast with your host, Eddie Ray and Samantha Leinhard. We'll be right back after the short break. Grab the audio version of the Nintendo Chit Chat Podcast on iTunes, Google Music, SoundCloud, or Player FM. Support this podcast by blasting that like button, sharing the stream, and subscribing right now. Nintendo Chit Chat Podcast with your host, Eddie Ray and Samantha Leinhard. All right, welcome back, guys, to the Nintendo Chit Chat Podcast. Eddie Ray here in the podcast studio. We have Samantha talking with us for the news. We'll be bringing her back on shortly with the time portal and your questions. But right now we have, for the second week in a row, we have our community manager, Amber. So, Amber, welcome back to the podcast. Hello. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Doing great, thank you. How was your day? Whew. A long Busy. day for you? Yeah. No problem. Yeah. But we have some stuff to talk about regarding the community, what's been going on the whole week. So lots of things actually happening, too. We've been streaming almost, I think, every day. Is that right? Yeah. Just about. Every day. Yeah. So let's talk about what happened, I guess, all the way back um, last Sunday. We did a stream on, I think, Facebook. Yeah. And that was what? Um, we did some Fortnite. We did some squads and duos. We had uh, Jaggy with us, I believe, for squads with no fill. Um, so yeah, just the three of us, I believe. Um, yeah, we got I think fourth place, if I recall fourth, correctly. Fourth. Some rough matches yeah. in there. <laughs> it's always rough matches in Fortnite. Is it, I'm getting worse. That's, I feel like I'm getting worse. Yeah, Not same better. here. It's like you play well one day, the next day you're like totally like you know off the wall doing stuff you shouldn't be off doing stream. or we play great off stream yeah it's really weird how things work like that but we got second place in duos and there was one person was building the entire oh, time yeah, yeah, the yeah. final person just really annoying just but stupid. wouldn't fight wouldn't fight at all <laughs> this building 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 i think, I think we, we died, died in the, the storm. storm yeah i think i got yeah. knocked and you died in the storm so that's fortnite yeah. for you but it's still fun <laughs> yeah. of course season six is here so we're underway with that and then monday yeah. brought us what stream i feel about that I know. <laughs> uh, <laughs> what happened on Monday? Oh, we played some Mario Kart 8 in 150 CC because somebody won't do 200 CCs. <laughs> this is like a running gag with you now. It's a <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, so I'll be getting that all the week here with the 200 CCs. That's okay. I can take it. I can you take can it. You can take it. I can just mute you. <laughs> I'll, just, I'll just mute you, actually. It's, it's be much easier. Yeah, it's fine. Just mute me. <laughs> um, so we um, had frantic items and also battle mode, too. Yeah, um, you actually won uh, yeah. the Shine Thief. Surprisingly, um, yeah, one of the rounds of Shine Thief. I pulled away I think with I it. I touched it. I touched it twice, so. I think that was I'm the okay. round I, I think I got like the Shine like halfway through and I ran out with it then, the final countdown, so that was yeah. pretty exciting. There's a few booms of that too, I believe, on uh, Discord, so check out the Channel Guys boom uh, for the replays. When it works. When it works. Yeah, last two streams have not been working very well. I'm not sure why. I think it's just the boom service itself because I reset it. It works once or twice and it's down again. So we'll see if it works tonight or tomorrow or whatever. Um, yeah. Also, lots of com errors in Mario Kart too. Remember that on Monday? Oh, yeah. Like several times the whole room closed down and people are dropping left and right and we couldn't get back into the race and only a yeah. few people did. So it's actually happened a lot this week with com errors. Uh, it really did. Because <laughs> after Mario Kart, we did some Doom. On yep. Tuesday, I believe, right? And who was there with okay. me? 
you and Jackie. Yeah, Jackie we were was doing with it. You. It was a lot of fun, actually, too. And that was a heck of a Doomed time. It up. We did. Oh, it was so intense. I loved it. Oh, it was yeah, great. It was awesome. So what we did is uh, Jackie and I, we had trouble connecting. We were in the party. Uh, I went to go into a few matches. We went to the lobby, played one match, and the whole lobby would just drop out and disconnect, give us both errors. Uh, so it happened numerous times during the stream. So I brought Jaggy back into 1v1, me and him. Uh, he won the first round, actually. Um, and I think I came back and won the second round with some BFG kills. And that's big um, freaking giant. Is that what you called it? I forget what you called that gun. <laughs> big, big friendly giant. Big friendly giant, yes. There you go. More, <laughs> It's more family friendly. <laughs> but yes, yeah, yeah. so some good matches there. Uh, so do check out some of those booms as well in our Discord channel, guys. I think I also uploaded the one to Facebook and YouTube, the one where I actually won, because I'm the star here. <laughs> <laughs> but no, thanks for playing, Jack. It was a lot of fun. We'll do it again on Tuesday, I believe, this coming week, too. So stay tuned for more Doom on the channel. Uh, oh, great. So we also played some more of your favorite game, or one of your favorite games I think we've been playing lately, uh, Amber, which is that is, is called what? What's your favorite Paladins. game? Paladins. Yes, Paladins. And that was with the Wizards on Wednesday. And yeah. who do we have join us on Wednesday? It wasn't a full team right away. I forget. We had um, we had um, Demetrius, Demetrius, Frank, Phoenix, That's you, right. and me. Okay, so there we, go. we actually had five then at the end with Frank. Yeah, it was good. And Phoenix, he's amazing. Oh my gosh, he's so good. With Koga, he got like uh, 18 kills, I think 25 yeah. in the one match. Pretty amazing. Yeah. And I think we amazing. won the majority of our matches as well. I think it was like five or seven again or something. Pretty close yeah. to that. So We only lost two. So And a couple of those were really close. It's the, the last like killer two that we needed. We didn't get it. But um, good job, Wizards. Good job, crew. And then yesterday, <laughs> yesterday's stream was, uh, I was excited for it. But then like lots of like, little glitches and errors. And again, calm errors and lag. Yep. And that was for Ugh. what? That was for uh, Smash Bros. for 3DS. Yeah, we had some good matches, though. We had Jaggy in there. We had Highway in there. Uh, we had Hector, a few others in the channel and Discord. So thanks for those who came to the stream for that. Um, we'll probably do 3DS Smash Bros. again because it's fun. The, the lag just really sucks, and it, yeah. it's always laggy um, at some point. But it was worse because we got some calm airs mixed in there. I think we had like half of the stream being just calm airs and reconnecting. Uh, so yep. it was really a pain in the butt, but we got through it. We had some good matches there, so still of course, fun. Yeah, and boom wasn't working then, so we tried it once or nope. twice. <laughs> didn't work at all. So <laughs> didn't work for my top play either. Oh yeah, that's right. You had top play in Paladins on uh, Wednesday night. That's right. Yeah. So I had to actually edit that for myself and for you and for the channel, so we could put it on YouTube and Facebook and for the recap. So uh, if you guys haven't seen her re her uh, top play recap, do check it out. Um, it's on YouTube right now and Facebook. Uh, you were Sky, right? Yes, I was. No, I didn't catch this right away. You actually threw, uh, with a character, you threw like a bomb or something, right? It's like a time capsule or a bomb? Yeah, I, I, yeah, I threw my, it was my special. It's like a bomb. And I took like I think you, had, you, got, you got like three kills with that one bomb. That was yeah. really amazing. So it was an awesome top play. Help us win the yeah. match actually too with that top play. So great job, Amber. You're getting really good at uh, Paladins, so a lot of a lot, a lot of fun <laughs> playing Paladins with you guys out there. All yeah. right. So moving along, uh, we have some things coming up. Um, we have Rocket League today, probably for a little while, at least for an hour or so. Yeah. We have some things to do after that, but uh, Rocket League tonight after the podcast. It's always fun. And then what do we have going on Saturday and Sunday, Amber? Saturday and Sunday, we have some Fortnite. Yes. We're going to do some um, playgrounds on Sunday, which I'm excited about. Yeah, so it's good for practicing, um, building, and shooting, and just like, it's kind of fun. And killing you. Yeah, and trapping me. You put me in traps all the time. <laughs> tra trapping you. <laughs> so these will both, both be on Facebook only. Uh, Saturday will be actually duos and squads. with We'll get Jackie and everyone wants to play or whatever. Who else wants to play? You can team up with us on Facebook if you want. We'll be in Discord, um, probably in the Wizards channel for a little bit as we stream. Um, and then Sunday will be uh, Playgrounds only for F Fortnite on Facebook. So I almost said Fork Knight because of you guys out there. Or Fork Knife. <laughs> Fork Knife. Fork Knife, yeah. All right. <laughs> so those coming up. Uh, plus many more things coming up there next week too. So stay, stay tuned for this, guys. We have, um, again, Doom. Mario Kart on Monday. Doom's on Tuesday. Uh, Paladins on Wednesday, I believe. So lots more coming up. I also want to talk to you about the bots that we have in Discord, Amber. We have two new bots. I didn't mention this yes. last week, I forgot, but what bots do we have that were added to Discord? 
Okay, we have the Rosalina bot and we have the Amber Trivia bot, and they're both amazing. Uh, Rosalina, you can do uh, your friend codes. Yeah, for Switch, and, 3DS, and Pokemon yeah. Go, you can add them in to actually exchange with friends, which is pretty cool. And she has some little mini games, like a, like a eight ball. Everybody's been using that a lot. It's yeah, fun. That's awesome. And, and then the trivia, trivia bot is trivia from all different types of categories, and we've all had some fun with that. Yeah, it's like an ongoing game. So as you answer correctly, the score kind of tally up. I think it ends after a certain point or something. So uh, yeah. start up, play. It's pretty fun. Both of those are in their separate channels, so check out those channels on Discord, guys. If you're not in Discord, go and hit the invite link below the video description and join us right now into Discord. Say hello. And Amber, I think we have some new t-shirts as well to kind of close things out here with you. So tell us what are the t-shirts we have going on. We have some new t-shirts. Yeah, we have two new designs for the NCC Wizards. We have the Eddie NCC design and the Amber design, me. Yeah, in purple or any color actually you guys want. There's a any bunch of color. colors there. Yeah, so different sizes uh, from kid sizes to adults plus I think up to 5XL I think it was. It's pretty crazy. Yeah. And I actually added a new design today. I didn't tell you because you were at work. It's a um, Nintendo Chit Chat Trio t-shirt. It has Samantha, myself, and your pixel art all together with Nintendo Chit Chat on it. So do check that out as well, guys. So the new cool. t-shirts are actually on sale right now. They're like 14 bucks compared to 20 because they're on sale because they're new. So get in there and order those right now if you can for that sale price. All right, Amber, and I guess we can end here with the shout-outs for our Rated E Club members, so take it away. Yeah, okay, we have BWA Switch, Christina Nina 19, Highway 9, Anita Sheldon, JKW123 Star, and Katetsu Takai. All right, awesome job, Amber. Are you enjoying um, your job as community manager? I love it. Everyone loves oh, you. Love You're doing a great job, and we appreciate your time here on the podcast, too. You're actually in the artwork now on the podcast, which is really cool. So, so cool. Thanks for joining us. We'll talk to you then on the podcast next week. All righty. Bye-bye, guys. All right. Enjoy your evening. Me, too. All right, guys. We're going to be taking a short break here. We'll bring back Samantha with your questions. The player spotlight. Is there one? Who knows? And the time portal as well. So we'll be right back after the break, guys. Hang tight. We'll be right back. You're listening to the Nintendo Chit Chat Podcast with your host, Eddie Ray and Samantha Leinhard. We'll be right back after the short break. Grab the audio version of the Nintendo Chit Chat Podcast on iTunes, Google Music, SoundCloud, or Player FM. You're listening to the Nintendo Chit Chat Podcast with your host, Eddie Ray and Samantha Leinhard. All right, guys. It indeed is time to go into our questions with you guys and the time portal as well. So, Samantha, welcome back to the podcast. Thank you. We got a couple questions here. I've been doing about two questions a week now, kind of making, kind of pacing ourselves a little bit. So let me pull these up for us today as well. If you guys want to leave a question for us on the podcast, pretty easy to do. You can email us, nintendochitchat at gmail.com, or even easier is go to Discord. Go to um, hashtag ncc-podcast and leave your questions there all week long. Ask more, the more the better. We'll pick a couple, two or three for the podcast, and here we go. So our first question will be, Actually, ooh, where are the questions are backwards today. I'm sorry about that. Oh, my gosh. That's weird. <laughs> Our first question is uh, from Cliff. What, I gave away the player spotlight, too. Do you guys see that on the screen? You probably saw who it was. It's okay. It's okay. We'll talk about it later, okay? Questions time. <laughs> Cliff asks, what features, online or offline, would you like to be seen on the Nintendo Switch within the next year? So, okay, online or offline? There's lots uh, I want to be added to this <laughs> list. Um, what's on your list, Samantha, though, for the Switch? What features would you want to see? Well, I think one of the big ones would be a way to uh, back up save data offline. Mm -hmm. Because now they've implemented the cloud saves with the online, but it would be nice if you could uh, back things up offline too. Another thing that they probably won't do, but it was such a nice feature, is how the uh, 3DS tracks your activities that so you can see, like which games yeah. you played the most times, which uh, your playtime for all of them, like which uh, you, like 
your the duration of it was your really average detailed stuff. yes yeah was, missing it was very that. nice i liked that i was always going there to check and see how yeah. the different games compared to one another now so it's just like there. how many hours and that's yeah. it doesn't show you anything, anything else so yeah it's kind of and not uh, even basic. detailed it's like just like an estimate yeah it's not even i'm not even sure how accurate it is to be honest with you it's probably accurate within probably several hours, I would guess, after a period of time, but it doesn't seem all that yeah, Eventually, it just starts doing things like, you know, over 20 hours, which yeah. isn't nearly as nice as how the 3DS handled it. So I wish they would bring a system like that. It seems like they did it for the 3DS. They should be able to implement it for the Switch. Mm -hmm. I really miss mirrors as well, actually. Um, yes. Connecting with people, not just drawings, okay? Drawings are kind of cool on the Wii U, right? All the artwork or whatever, but um, the little communities involved for each game, even mm -hmm. the indie games, uh, it's kind of missing that hub, that social hub, yeah. I think, still. Um, I also miss messaging. Uh, there's really no mm -hmm. messaging on the Wii U at all, or the 3DS. If there was, they took it away. Um, yeah, the Wii U used it through Miiverse. That's right, yeah. Miiverse is gone. <laughs> that was kind of convoluted then, too, because you were in a friends list. You couldn't message your friends list. You had to go to Miiverse to message and vice versa. It was really weird. But, right. yeah, at least I had that, though, on the, on the <laughs> Wii U. So I want messaging. I want folders and themes as well. And oh, I think we'll get that. Nice, I think yeah. we'll get that, yeah. Uh, and, and three is his themes. You pay for some themes. Some are th some are free. Um, you can, I guess, get some through the uh, rewards program too. Probably, I'm looking for for themes definitely. Um, those are my top kind of few little things uh, in my list of online and offline features and cloud saves. Is there any kind of way to to, sh to um, I mentioned this before to uh, to gift something on the eShop at all? Oh yeah, that would be a good feature to add. Yeah, that was on. Was that on the Wii? That you could do that. Was it on the Wii? Or I think no? so. The Wii, and then they took it away. So the Wii U didn't have. So we missed a couple of gener really generation here. Yeah. And so. there was a like brief period of time where you could go through the uh, through like the web browser to Nintendo's store, and that would give you a code. So then you could kind of yeah. give someone that way. But I think they took that away. So now yeah. it has to be linked to your account, and then it's just automatically downloaded. So pretty much, I think the only way left is if a game just has a digital a, code being sold like on Amazon or, or just buy an eShop yeah. gift card for 20 bucks or whatever it is to cover the person whatever they want to get you know but gifting a particular game or something is kind of cool for, for the person because right. it just you know, it seems more of a better gift than just giving them 20 bucks for a gift card for eShop credit but yeah I agree I wish they would add that back mm -hmm. some gifting options um, but we'll see um, Netflix yeah uh, yeah I thought they'll add that eventually, I'm sure, but that's not really a big feature to me at all because I have Netflix and everything else of all my other devices, <laughs> my cell phones, my computers. But uh, So that's a good question, Cliff. Thanks very much for asking that. Next question is from Dank. What game would be bestseller this holiday season? Uh, Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu, Let's Go Eevee, uh, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, or the new Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe? Uh, I think this is pretty easy to say, uh, but what do you think, Samantha? Well, I brought up the list of best-selling 3DS games, and mm. I'm going to point out that Pokemon holds the second, third, fourth, and ninth spots for the best-selling uh, 3DS games. So I'm going to say Pokemon is going yeah. to be the best sellers, although they always consistently sell lots and lots of copies. Yeah, the Pokemon just is more generalized um, for general audience, has a bigger range of ages, I think. So Smash Bros. is still a little bit of a niche but it will still sell a lot of copies. It will be a pretty good seller for the Switch, for sure. It will sell It will sell the Switch to people um, who are hardcore fighting uh, Smash Bros. fans. But um, Pokemon will definitely sell, um, I think, in the long run, too. Not just the holiday season. They'll also sell more in the long run, too, for Pokemon. Let's go, let's go, Pikachu, let's go, Eevee. So good question, Dank. Thanks for that. And good answer, Samantha. Thanks for answering those guys. Again, email us your questions or go to the Discord and leave them there. Do, it, do so right now so I can see them after the podcast. I can prepare ahead of time. It's actually easier for me. <laughs> All right, so our player spotlight here is Phoenix, uh, Immortal Phoenix. He's been playing a lot of Paladins with us here. He's in Discord. He's on there occasionally saying hello. He's online right now. He's a wizard, too. Uh, so go and tag him in Discord in the Wizards channel, guys, or in general, wherever you want to just, what, just tag him in podcast, actually. Tag him there in podcast and say hello. Phoenix, you are the player spotlight of the week on the podcast right now. So we'll be adding him to our Player Spotlight channel on Discord. So congratulations to you, Phoenix. And thanks for being Koga and killing a lot of the enemy in our Paladins matches with the Wizards. So good, good job, guys. Good job, Phoenix. All right, Samantha, it's time for the Time Portal. What issue are we at now? Yeah, so this is issue 34. All right. And this, I got a good collection of games here and some hardware, too. Uh, and, of <laughs> course, just, okay, kick off. What is the first not even a game, it's a company. What's the company? 
Yeah, so September 23rd is the date that Nintendo was founded. And so this was September 23rd, 1889. Wow, that's pretty amazing. <laughs> As I commented there in the article, that is, was 129 years ago. I was a little kid back then, <laughs> swimming around. No, it's, <laughs> I wasn't even doing that. It was a long time ago. Uh, so they were a toy company. Um, they have, I guess, um, known for their playing cards as well. Is that right? Yeah, playing cards, yeah, toys. Yeah, they started out with the playing cards, and they went through all sorts of uh, different uh, ideas, different things that they tried to do. Like, they were into cabs, <laughs> all sorts of things wow. before becoming the uh, video game company that we know them as today. <laughs> Very cool. So Nintendo, 129 years old. Amazing. All right, a really cool franchise. Uh, Dragon Quest, one and two release as a bundle. I didn't even know about this, actually. Uh <laughs> For what date, Samantha? Yeah, so this is, uh, first we got, uh, well, the Japanese release was September 23rd, 1999. And then just a little bit over a year later, they came out under the Dragon Warrior title, of course, on September 27th, uh, 2000. And so this was the first two games in the series bundled together for the Game Boy Color. Wow. That's really cool. I love these, these earlier games, especially the Dragon Warrior games. We know them now as what, Samantha? What, what was this? This is Dragon Quest right now. Yeah, it was... this is the Dragon Quest game now, just like it always did in Japan, but for yeah. the first eight or so, they localized it as Dragon Warrior. Very cool. All right. So then next on our list here for the Time Portal is the date September 26th and 29th. Super Mario 64 is released in North America, <laughs> dating back to what year, though? Yeah, so this was 1996. So now when I was looking it up for the time portal, I saw, oh, it came out on September 26th, 1996. And then I looked it up in another source and thought, oh, it came out on September 29th, 1996. Oh, wow. like, Which is it? And so when I looked it up, it seems as though what happened is that the official release date was September 29th, but some stores started selling oh. it three days early. And that so still happens today. <laughs> yeah, some people got it September 26th. Uh, so it was officially September 29th, so you'll see both listed as the release date. Some of these stores never learn. It still happens these days with these games releasing <laughs> early. That's funny. Very cool. So Super Mario 64, and of course, we have the hardware to go with it this, uh, this time portal because the hardware uh, is the N64 release in North America. And what date for this one? This is back in... Uh, September 26th and 29th as well again, right? <laughs> yes, and this is 1996. So basically the exact same thing that happened with Super Mario 64 also happened with the Nintendo 64 itself. The <laughs> official release date was September 29th, 1996, but apparently a major toy retailer decided to start selling it on the 26th. <laughs> and so after that, then, uh, even though they weren't allowed, Nintendo allowed other stores to sell it early as well, ahead of the official September 29th day. Wow. Very cool stuff in this time portal, guys. So do check it out on the website, NintendoChitChat.com. And Samantha does have the date of... <laughs> do you, you, you catch a little error there in the time portal? I just noticed right. that now, um, under Super Mario 64, it says September uh -oh. 26, 2996 is the year. <laughs> We're in the future now. <laughs> it's okay. I just saw it. Like, what is that? 2996 is a crazy I, date. I, I just read it right now for the discussing it here and didn't even notice. It's easy to I bypass. I that right now. Uh, no worries. I just said, I'm like, what is that? We're in the future. Wow. Okay. 2996. What system will be on then? I'm not even sure. We'll be implanting things probably. Uh, very cool. So Samantha, anything you want to plug or talk about before we kind of head out with the podcast this week? Oh, I'll just say two things. Uh, first of all, we've got our final week left for Destiny Chronicles. If you want to support our action RPG on Kickstarter, Kickstarter that will be coming to the Switch if we can get it funded. And the other thing I just wanted to mention, since I've referred to it uh, several times now, is that I finally finished Pokemon Moon. Oh, wow. Good, good. good. Did you After enjoy it? I've playing it for over a year, <laughs> going off and on. Oh, boy. I wrote a very long, long blog post uh, going into all my thoughts on the review. I liked some aspects of it. I really disliked other aspects. So I'm mm -hmm. kind of mixed on it. Overall, I thought the main story was good enough uh, to be worth it. But some of the things, especially the pacing and the way the characters keep interrupting you, they can't do that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they got to find a way to stop <laughs> doing that. <laughs> so is your article on your website as well? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I wrote that What's your website? Today. You can plug your website uh, as well. Yeah, it's just my name, so uh, SamanthaLineHard.com. All right, cool. So check it out, guys, if you want to see her thoughts on Pokemon Moon. 
All right, Samantha, great job. We'll see you then next week. Thanks very much for helping out. All right. Have a good week. You too. Have a good weekend, guys. And uh, that is it, guys, with our podcast this week. Thanks for watching Nintendo Chit Chat Podcast episode 37. Next week's episode 38. Looking forward to it, guys. Thank you to everybody who joined us here. Anita, Amber, Simon, Fernando, JKW, all of you guys, Sagan. I'm Eddie Ray. Make sure you guys like, share, and subscribe. We'll see you back here next week, if not before. And thank you, Amber, as well. Grab the audio version of the Nintendo Chit Chat Podcast on iTunes, Google Music, SoundCloud, or Player FM. Visit our website at nintendochitchat.com and catch up on everything Nintendo.